To celebrate the arrival of the new Halo trilogy, starting with Halo 4 on November 6, we decided to get the guys together and host a marathon, aiming to complete the original trilogy in one day. While we managed to finish the first Halo and Halo 3 on Legendary difficulty, Halo 2 gave us a really hard time finishing on Legendary. We finished about 70% of the game on Legendary then we had to go on Heroic because it was really hard to finish and we didn't have a lot of time, just 24 hours slot, so we came really close of not finishing on 24 hours. So we had to go with the Heroic difficulty and then we finished the the, the last 30% of the game on Heroic, so yeah, thank you Bungie for that. My first experience with uh, the Halo series was actually with Halo 1. Uh, what happened was um, I actually purchased, um, well before I purchased it, my friend uh, showed me the game and uh, to try out and, uh, and the multiplayer is what really caught me. It was four players on a single console, um, first person shooter that's really diverse. Um, the cars, um, the vehicles were really, really interesting because they were diverse and you could do a lot of things with them and they were actually the best vehicles in a first person shooter that I've ever tried um, and it that's really what first captured me then I bought my own console and played it and it was a beautiful experience with um, the two-player co-op at the time uh, really enjoyable The campaign of Halo was actually interested me. Uh, the story of Master Chief, and uh, I wanted to know more where he came from. Why did he get the armor? Why, why does he have Cortana? Basically, I, well, playing Halo 1 wasn't enough, then I played Halo 2. The story, the ending of Halo 2 made lots of people angry. I heard my friend even destroyed his own TV by accident by throwing the controller, because the story didn't finish. And then when I played Halo 3, the ending was so amazing that oh, there's no, there isn't going to be any more Halo. Like no. Started playing Halo 3 on the Xbox 360. That just blew my mind in many different ways. Uh, the graphics was amazing. The gameplay was amazing. The matchmaking was even more amazing. I really enjoyed that with friends or alone or even the campaign. Whether it was with friends or alone, it was just mind blowing. Uh, when I first played Halo 4 in Games 12, it was uh, very different than what I expected. It was uh, what, what you can call the perfect game. We were very worried about uh, Halo 4 uh, with the transition between Bungie and 343. But when we got to Games 12 and tried out the game, all the doubts were just out of the window, gone, absolutely loved the game. Uh, we got to try a few maps, uh, the new weapons, and it was just just as good as the iteration from Halo 3 to Halo Reach. Halo Reach to Halo 4 was just as smooth as, as the transition. Absolutely fun to play. When I first saw Halo 4 and E3, actually it was at the end of the conference. So me and the guys started jumping in joy because we didn't expect actually Microsoft to show Halo 4. I was actually really excited for Halo 4 because Halo Reach didn't have Master Chief. I'm really glad that Master Chief is back for the ride because 
I think Master Chief, it's all about Master Chief. Halo is about Master Chief because we care about his story so much. So I think it's going to be really exciting to see Master Chief in action again and be able to control him again. My experience also with Halo was always with my friends. Um, I met a lot of friends through Halo and I made a lot of friends uh, through Halo actually. Uh, with this marathon that we made uh, playing Halo 1 and 2 and 3, I made a really close friends uh, like the guys from Game Overviews. Um, I hang out with them all the time now and we practically met in the Halo Marathon because we decided that we all Halo fans, why not make a Halo Marathon? It was the best experience of gaming night I had or gaming days because it was the longest day I played a video game for with a friend and it was really amazing finishing all the Halos and seeing all the Halo ending in one day. So uh, Halo 4, I can't wait to play Halo 4 with my friends and experience all this with my friends and play all the war games and uh, Infinity Slayers and the campaign, the everything uh, in, in Halo 4, which is new, and play it with all my friends again. So I'm really excited about Halo 4. I can't wait for the game. <laughs>